Welcome everybody to the campus of Baker High School in beautiful West Mobile. It's not a human night. It actually feels pretty good out here. So we're watching the final regular season game of this football season between the Baker Hornets and the MGM Vikings. This is the Battle of West Mobile. There's no better way to finish out the regular season of football than with a good old rivalry game. I'm Justin Talbert, joined by Mackenzie Johnson. Mackenzie, what are we looking at tonight in this matchup between the Hornets and the Vikings? Um, tonight we're really looking at um, a team that has not really had much to redeem themselves. We've had Baker High School with their two wins and their seven losses, but we also have MGM with their zero to nine. And we're going to see tonight who's really going to take home another win tonight. Yeah, it's, it's definitely been a rough season for both teams. Uh, Baker came out strong at opening the season with two wins. And then since then, uh, it hit a lot of road bumps. Uh, and, and things have been a little tough for them. So they've, they've come in with seven straight losses. And, and as you mentioned, MGM's got nine straight losses. So this is, this is for pride tonight. Uh, both teams are out of playoff contention. Uh, there's absolutely no way for either one of them uh, to, to go to playoffs. So we're expecting some, um, some hard-nosed football here tonight because they, they both really want this win to finish off their season on a high note uh, after dealing with such uh, <laughs> rough uh, you know, contests. They, uh, Baker ended up losing to Foley last week 10-7. Uh, heartbreaking loss because this was one of those things where when Baker was playing McGill, they were two and five, and they needed the last three wins of the season to break even. And of course, McGill came in uh, basically and just slaughtered Baker. It, it was a very, very uh, it was difficult to watch. Yeah, you're McGill's right about a that. very, very good football team. Uh, so Baker then lost to Foley, but MGM's MGM had last week off, mm -hmm. so they've had actually two weeks to prepare. Uh, for this Baker matchup to, to get their first win of the season. And, and, and what better time to do it than the very last game and against your in-county rival. Yeah. And tonight we're going to see who's going to take home the trophy, the, um, the Battle of Mobile, West Mobile Trophy. And also this week we had a win from both sides. We had MGM win a part of our Jalapeno Whataburger-sponsored contest. They won the Jalapeno Eating Contest. But Baker actually won the participation contest with more people from our side coming into. That's right. So it was, uh, we were actually out there uh, Monday night. So Whataburger helped us with uh, Rivalry Week and uh, sponsored those, the jalapeno eating contest and the participation contest. And I believe each school received $750 from Whataburger. So we do want to thank them for uh, setting this up. And I, we actually spoke to some of the uh, coordinators of that from Whataburger, and they were talking about making this an annual event, which would be awesome yeah. you know, each year to have both of the schools out there and a friendly rivalry. Uh, nobody was really ugly back and forth to each other. They had some really neat things. The drum lines battle back and forth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the cheerleaders were cheering back and forth and trying to one-up each other. So uh, definitely started this week in the right spirit. And you know, as we put on social media earlier this week, uh, right now, the record between these two teams is one and one this week with the jalapeno eating contest going to MGM, the participation contest going to Baker. Tonight, we break that tie. Both of these teams are playing for pride. They're both hungry for a win. Yeah, very much so. And tonight, we're going to see who's going to really bring that home to equal it out with a one-to-one. -one. We're going to see who's going to go two-to-one tonight. That's right. Hopefully, That's right. it'll be Baker High School, but who knows? It might be MGM. And this is it. Once you, once you get this win tonight, you've solidified victory for this rivalry week yeah. and this, this school year. Yeah. This, is, this is the major, major game between these two schools is football. I mean, we, we do play them in basketball, but it's just there's nothing like Good a Baker versus football. MGM football game. Yeah. There's nothing like it. So, so here we are set up. Baker uh, is kicking the ball off to MGM. We're going to get this game started. All right, we're going to kick off today. And actually, our starting lineup for tonight is going to be for the Hornets. Our starting on defensive line is going to be Colin McCant, the defensive end. And then also for Jonathan Exenor at our nose tackle. And then Jordan Timmons at our defensive end. MGM fielding it at about the 15 and bringing it back out to about the 26-yard line. So good starting field position. Yeah, let's see. Look, they're, at the line. they're all going back to the huddle. We're about to kick back off at about the 26. 627 line yard line they're coming back out now and 
as I was saying earlier, we're starting back with our linebackers. Tonight we have Trenton Adams, our outside, Hunter Roberts inside, Tyrion Crane at inside also, and then Ozzie Quinn is our other outside. We're going to keep an eye on definitely uh, Hunter Roberts and uh, Ozzie Quinney, yeah. uh, two of the seniors in there, those inside linebackers. And they were actually recognized tonight. later on, earlier on tonight, they were recognized with senior parent night actually having tonight also. That's right. MGM coming out throwing on first down. It is incomplete. Right. Uh, quarterback threw it just short of number seven, Henry Jackson. Uh, that was number one, Jacoby Daniel, for the MGM Vikings at quarterback. So MGM coming out, uh, not testing the waters too much. Usually, you know, you come out first play, maybe run the ball. Yeah. Uh, kind of test the defense a little bit to they went straight see what for the they throw. would do. But, yeah, they're coming out throwing. Yeah. Coming out swinging tonight. We're going to see who has more energy, who has more spirit, and who's really going to take home this win tonight. And that's what we expect out of these two teams tonight is just, just let it all loose. It's the last game of the season. You, you're playing for pride. Yeah. You're not going to the playoffs. Battle of West Mobile. You're, yeah, you're going for that trophy. So it's you're going to pull out all the stops and do whatever you can. So uh, here we have Jacoby Daniel getting the offense set here, takes the snap, hands it off to number 49, who swings it out to the left. He goes out of bounds at about the 36-yard line uh, pickup. Right, of, that, yeah, it's the number 49 about eight yards. ran it off with Jeremiah Martin from MGM. And they actually ran almost completely past the Hornets, and they went right out of bounds at about the 36, 37-yard yeah, like, line. Yeah, they're marking it around the 34, oh, 35. 35. Yeah, 34, 35-yard line, actually. MGM uh, getting back to the line in a hurry. Jacoby Daniel checking the sideline for the play from the coach. Now, let's Receiving see those calls, checking his wristband. He's signaling to his wide receivers here. Maybe go for a pass play here. Ooh. He fakes the handoff. Jacoby Daniel swinging out to the left side. Oh. He is past the secondary. Let's see He's can... not going to go, though. Oh, okay. The Baker Hornets caught up to him, brought him down at about the 15-yard line. What a start for the MGM Vikings. All right, and that was number six, and that would be Michael Kidd, I believe. On the is... tackle, yeah. Yeah, Michael Kidd took him down. Let me see what yard line he had him out. Almost right at Baker's um, home home touchdown. Like, they almost got a touchdown right there. Already, like, this is not even two minutes into the game. They're already fired up, already going straight for the um. Oh, uh, we have a, do have a flag on the play, though, so all of that may have been for naught. What a heartbreaker for MGM. This was, that was a great, great play, well designed. It was a very delay on the fake. Yeah. Uh, the quarterback stuck the ball right into the running back's uh, midsection, held it there for quite a while, uh, got Baker to bite on it, and then Jacoby Daniel just pulled it out and swooped around the left side and Gained a massive amount of yardage, but it looks like it's uh, going to be brought back. And they're back at the 30-yard line this time. And let's see if they can really push through. We're waiting for the snap. Oh, they're resetting. They're resetting. Shifting around the wide receivers. They're uh, putting three out to the left side. One wide receiver at the bottom. Let me see. Baker seems to be They're waiting for something. I wonder what they're waiting for. Could it be a change in the play? Could it be yeah, timeout? You know, time out, MGM. They didn't like what they were seeing. Uh, one thing you notice about MGM uh, this game is they're not really huddling, mm -hmm. um, and it's they're rushing to the line, and then the quarterback's receiving the calls from the sideline coach over there, and then kind of relaying it to the players while they're already uh, up at the line. Uh, the quarterback's doing some some signaling as well. So very interesting offensive tactic there uh, for the Vikings. So so while they're taking a timeout, we're going to take a timeout as well uh, because these student broadcasts are all made possible uh, by our friends at Seymour Sports who have provided uh, so much for us uh, this year through this season, and they're going to continue to provide for us uh, in the basketball season as well. We at Seymour are very proud to be working with the students in our partnering schools. In fact, the broadcast that you are currently watching is all student-led. This is our first full season working with these student broadcasting teams, and we are very excited about the progress they are making. It is students that are running the sound, shooting the video, directing and producing the broadcast, and some are even doing the play-by-play -play and color commentary. It'll be first and ten inside Foley territory, Rogers in the shotgun. And he's going to fake the handoff to set again. And Rajay's going to go for about seven or eight more yards. And the Canes are driving on him, Josh. Our entire program at Seymour is centered around the development of students for the workforce. And we are committed to training our students to deliver a quality product. 
Hello and welcome back to Davidson Media, a Warrior Built Network. I'm your host here, Jackson Kraft. So thank you for watching this student broadcast powered by Seymour. And be sure to continue your support of this fine school and all of its academic and athletic affairs. All right, we're back. Uh, MGM on their third down were stopped short. They're about at the 35-yard uh, line. They were stuffed by the Hornets, punted the ball on fourth down, and now we have Baker starting out their offense uh, from the 35-yard line. We're actually seeing number eight, Devin Robinson, in as starting quarterback, uh, our senior. Uh, for the past couple of weeks, we've actually seen uh, Reese Earhart in there, uh, but it is senior night. So Devin Robinson's getting the start tonight. We'll see uh, what Baker can do on offense tonight. Oh, we got a, a oh. little bit of a of a fumble there by number 11. Fumble situation. That's Joshua Pruitt. Devin Robinson's uh, pass back to Joshua Pruitt was looked good, but Pruitt couldn't get a handle on the ball, shuffled it around, and MGM almost came up with it. But uh, Pruitt wisely diving down onto the ball. Instead of trying to scoop it and run, too many times you see football on TV, guys try to scoop and run the ball, and they keep fumbling it and kicking it around. Yeah, so here we have uh, Baker starting second down and 20 Ooh. from their own, looks like, 25-yard line. And he's going, he's go and he is down on the 35-yard line. Well, we have another flag on the play. Flags all over the place tonight. And what player was that? Was that number eight, you think? I missed it. I mean, I I'll think Devin honest. Robinson, I believe. Devin Robinson, the pass. He swing, it may have he swung out to the right side. Swung out to the right side, tried to go around. Couldn't make it all the way through, but there was another flag on the play tonight. All right, so the referees are, They're on goodness this. gracious, they are walking it back to the 20-yard line. Hornets Regular. not catching a break right now, so it's now it's going to be second and 15. Wow. From Hornets, their own 20-yard line. Second and 15 for the Hornets. I'm hoping this night gets a little bit better because the Hornets are getting a little bit of a, like, a raw end of the deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely definitely a rough start. Yeah. Uh, to a night that sh should be full of surprises, uh, hopefully. Pass, that's handoff. Running straight up the middle. Brought down it with a short gain, maybe of only uh, one or two yards. That's Joshua Pruitt. One down three. Down three, and we need to get down four. I mean, move up. How many more yards do you think? Around maybe like um, ten or so more yards before we can even get our. Yeah, this is uh, I mean, another first down. Oh my goodness, this is actually they're at, they got to get out to the 45 yard line. Oh, wow. So they're actually at the 25. They need a whole 20 yards to get anywhere. Yeah, they they down. need another 10 just to get back to the original line of scrimmage. So right now, third down. Look for Baker to go through the air here. Uh, we've got looks like uh, three wide receivers up top. One down the bottom, and then Joshua Pruitt sweeping out to the right as well. We have number Short two. pass down to number two. He's brought down at the 30-yard line, so that that's not enough. That must have been Rashawn Christian. Yes. And he just brought it down over to the 20-yard line. We're getting it up there. We're moving these, moving past, and now we're on fourth down. And Baker versus MGM. This game seems to be moving kind of slow at first, but he should amp up really soon. I'm excited for these. Um, for who's going to win tonight? Yeah, we're definitely we're going to have a punt now from number 47. That's Robert Malone, uh, another one of our seniors as well. We're featured in senior night. So uh, kind of a slow start for the Baker offense, but MGM showing some uh, showing some fireworks for sure. Even though, but that that play that got called all the way back that was a good 50 yard play that got just negated by a silly penalty. So yeah. a high kick going to be. Go out of bounds at about the 34-yard line. And they are not letting up tonight. They are letting Baker really have it. Even with that, um, the drawback they had earlier with the flag on the play, they are still not going to let Baker have any extra yards. They're going to make sure they keep us where they want us, back there at the 20-yard line. Just like this kick, they're going to regroup, come back onto the field, switch out. And we are at the, I believe, the 34, 30, 33rd yeah, line. Yeah, they end up marking line. it at the 33, so... Here we have uh, the Vikings, first down. 33. Uh, first and 10 on the 33, their own 33-yard line. Jacoby Daniel uh, back to receive the like, snap. Coach is talking to them out there on the field. Seemed a little energetic out there telling them rapid hand signs. 
And he's dropping back to pass out to the number, left side. Number one pass to number, number 11. He shakes a couple of defenders, and he gains a couple yards after contact. He's brought down at about the 41-yard line, a gain of uh, eight yards there for the Vikings. Actually going to mark him at the 40, so a gain of seven. So now uh, Vikings second and three from their own 40-yard line. MGM's moving the ball. They are really, they're really showing us tonight. We can still do this. It's only we still. It's only six minutes left in the first quarter, and Baker can still do this. MGM can still do this too. But I, I'm faithfully believing in Baker. We're gonna we're gonna get your prediction in just a minute. We've got a handoff, running back out to the right side, but a swarm of Hornets brings him down for a loss of about two. Uh, that was number 49 for the Vikings, Jeremiah Martin, a sophomore. Yeah, he, we've heard of him twice tonight already. Yeah, that's a, he's a tiny guy in there. Uh, one of those small stature running backs that quick, that can uh, hide behind some of the offensive linemen and, and make some explosive plays. But we'll see how Baker handles uh, this sophomore that's in there. And right now we have MGM with the ball at the 41st yard line, I believe. Yeah, they actually gave him uh, some yardage on that one. So fakes the handoff. Jacoby and Daniels drilled on the play and ends up being blown dead. But he uh, he took some damage for, for dropping back into the pocket and making that pass. And they are switching back out again. That play, the whistle was blown on that, so they are not moving. They're going to reset that play. But they are third and 41 still. Yeah, it's going to be a false start on the Vikings, so they're actually going to back them up about five yards. Oh, wow, so they're going back to the... So MGM shooting themselves in the foot. 37-yard line. Yeah, so now it's going to be... A 31st, yeah, 36, third and 37. Seven. Yeah, from their own, uh, looks like 35 or 36-yard line. Looks like they're spotting at the 36. There we go. Jacoby Daniel getting the call from the side. And every time they do that, they're losing more yards. They're down. It's going to be harder and harder to get. Look, look for him to go through the air here. Let's see. Where are they Drops gonna... back, passes a, a floater over to the left side, but... The receiver, a little bit of a miscommunication there. It looks like he got hung up, and it was almost an interception there by number four for Baker. That was Ronnie Cleveland. Uh, Ronnie Cleveland, yeah. He was in the right place at the right time, but uh, just couldn't couldn't get to the ball fast enough. Yeah, he saw him slide across that ground out there. The ball went right up, like right to his hands. like He just must have slipped right out. Uh, not a lot of confidence in that throw from Jacoby Daniel. He uh, kind of floated it. Those, <laughs> those are not the ones you want to throw, especially on a, on a short pass that way with – all of the Hornets secondary crowding around that receiver. Yeah. So here we have uh, the Vikings going to punt it now on fourth down with uh, just under six minutes left in the first quarter. Oh, and then uh, caught by Baker's yeah. number seven. That is going to be Jacoby Rogers also. Yeah. Yeah, punt fielded by number seven, but we had some whistles blown. I thought he called for a fair catch, but yeah. after, he re after he caught the ball, he took off running. But the referees are actually getting together to uh, talk about this right now and figure out what the call is. We'll see what they say. They're, they're pointing down the field about where Jacoby caught the punt. We'll see what they come up with here. Having a little conversation there with Danny Smith. I wonder what the commotion could be about. Because I think, honestly, I believe that Jacoby caught it. It's all good. He should have kept going. I don't know why the whistle was blown. But I'm going to hope the refs, they know what they're talking about. They got this in the bag. And the, it won't be a penalty on Baker or violation, fault, anything like that. I believe that it, it looks like when he, when he caught the ball, as soon as he went to run, they blew the whistle. So I'm, a, I'm assuming the referees saw Jacoby wave his hands, that he would call a fair catch and stop. Uh, where he caught the ball, mm -hmm. but then he goes to run it himself. So we're going to see. Uh, looks like they're going to they're going to replay the down. We're not getting any sort of signal from the referees as far as what the call is. Yeah. So, so we are going to replay the down. So MGM's going to punt the ball again. Uh, Jacoby Rogers back to receive the punt. And we're starting off from still the same at the 30, 36 yard line. And Jacoby Rogers is going Low to catch it. to Jacoby. He does not fair catch it. Now he's going to receive it and he, go. He's he is going through he's straight up, up the middle of the MGM defenders, and he's brought down, down at it. about the 37-yard line. Yeah. 
And I believe that Jacoby did it better that time. He moved farther. We got no whistle blown this time. We were in clearly in the right. He caught that ball, tucked it, and booked it. Got down to the 37-yard line from where he was at. And I believe it's Baker's ball now? Yeah, Baker it? ball. Baker yep. ball? Yeah. Yeah. Jacoby was clearly frustrated uh, earlier. We actually have a hold on the play. It's actually on Baker. So all that effort Jacoby put in is actually they're going to be backed up. Looks like to the 25-yard uh, line. That's Wow. That's a – Wow. Tonight's really not going in favor of the Hornets, but I believe in us. I believe in our Baker Hornets that we can do anything we put our mind to. And I believe right. in those boys out there on the field right now. And let's see. We're Devin going. handoff to number 25 from Baker. He's swinging out to the right side. He's got the first down. A good stiff arm. He's still on his feet, and he's brought down at the 40-yard line. A great gain of about 15 yards. And number 25, that's Kobe Bush. Either running uh, Kobe back. Kobe Bush, yeah. For uh, that's our he's uh, starting at fullback tonight. So uh, that's a fast fullback. Really, really fast. Let me see this. He brought it back all the way from over at the around the third, the thirty yard line, I believe, thirty five. And he brought it all the way up to we're now at the forty. So he brought up a good ten yards from there. That's good fifteen. I think he was at the twenty five. Now they're at the the forty. So. Uh, Give here we are, down. first down, first and ten now for Baker with Kobe Bush and uh, Fernando Billups in the backfield. Handoff to Kobe Bush again. Uh, this time he gets nothing. He's brought down at the line of scrimmage for no gain. No gain. No gain, no gain from Kobe Bush at the hand of the MGM Vikings. And now we're going to move on to second down now. And it's Baker's ball still. And we still have, I believe, one, two. 15 yeah, still yards. 10 yards. 10, 10 yards, yards to go. Second yeah. and 10. All right. Uh, Devin Robinson starting this uh, from the shotgun. So we'll see. Uh, well, that may not be. Uh, who's in there? Is that Devin? I believe so. Yeah. No, that's Fernando Billups receiving the snap like a wildcat wow. formation. He, he fakes the handoff. Fakes and it, but still is taken down. Yeah, tries to go up the left side for, for no gain. He actually tried to hand off to Jacoby yeah, Rogers. Yeah. Jacoby Rogers coming in on the sweep. I believe yeah, Jacoby Devin thought. came out on the sideline. I was wondering, Devin's wearing the white uh, band on his on his left arm. I didn't see the white band, but I couldn't see the number for Fernando Billups. So a uh, little bit of some creative offense here from the Hornets. Yeah. Majorly, I think that Jacoby Rogers thought he was actually going to get the ball, but then he was faked out himself by his own team. Yeah, it was probably an option play for Fernando. He could decide what he wanted to do. Now Devin Robson under center. Drops, drops back. He swings out to his right with a pass down to looks and like number 15. Incomplete. Or 16, I'm sorry. 16 for the 16 Hornets for Anthony, Anthony Phillips. Phillips. Yeah. So incomplete pass. That's going to stop the clock. The Hornets now with a fourth down and nine. Yeah, Surely they're going to punt here. Surely. At three minutes, 30 seconds left to go on the clock. I want either I want Baker Hornets to get some points on the get some points on the score. But yeah. we have neither one, neither team, MGM or Baker with any points so far. And Either might not be too good, but I'd rather keep it at 0-0 zero to zero than 0-1 <laughs> to right. one, the wrong team. So Hornets here with a good opportunity to put um, some bad field position on the Vikings. We'll check this punt. Let's see where this good goes. Punt. Ooh. Oh, 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 number 49, no, number 49. Let's see what that the referees are. The referees are ruling it down. It did not touch a Viking. It did not touch a Viking. Uh, that was a good heads-up play there. For number 49, who's number 49? Richard there? Edmund. I don't know Richard Edmund. Yeah, Richard Edmund. Edmund was there. He was, do we have 249? No. Yeah, you're right. All right, yeah. Richard Edmund. So, good by name. a Caleb good heads-up play looking to I'll work with uh, him for get the ball off the punt. They, he thought that it touched the Viking mm -hmm. uh, receiver. It did not. The referees are going to call the ball uh, down at the 29-yard line. It's going to be the uh, – actually, they're going to give it to the Hornets. They're giving it to the Hornets? Wow. Yeah, that's the, uh, Richard Edmond, otherwise Caleb Edmond, number 49. Huh. Had some class together. He's really, he's one of them close friends. We're good friends. I'm going to show my ignorance here. I do not know why they call that down uh, if it touched the Viking. Yeah. But Devin Robinson dropping back for the pass. He's throwing it to the oh. corner to Jacoby Rogers, unable to come up with it. Yeah. And who threw that? Was that number eight? That was Devin Robinson. Devin yeah. Robinson, yeah, number eight. Devin Robinson, number eight, that's number seven. Jacoby Rogers. Incomplete, went out of bounds, resetting back. We're still at 30 and 30, 30 yard line, uh, second down, three minutes, 12 seconds on the clock. 
See one of our senior linebackers on the sideline, Jackson Dempsey, looks like being treated by the uh, sports medicine crew here with his hand. Wow. Let's see if we can get uh, our sideline reporter to find out what's going on there. So uh, second down and 10 for the Hornets. Devin Robinson drops back, handoff to Fernando Billups. He goes up the middle towards the right side. He's still going. He's still going. Still going. Spinning, dragging right. a couple of Vikings with him. He's finally yeah. hauled down after about a nine-yard gain. And it's Fernando Billups, and they brought him down at the 30. It's a 26 line yard line, I believe, somewhere around that 24th, something like that. They brought him down at 23rd yard line at our third down, two minutes, 45 seconds on the clock. I believe the Hornets only need a few more, a few more yards to get to they get their next down, and they're already this close. They're this, they're this close they've been all game. Oh, there's a flag on the play. Flag on the play from the referees. Let's see what the call is here. More than likely, it's going to be on Baker. Most likely, yeah. They're going to move us back another. Yeah, Baker's moving back about five yards here. So if you're just tuning in, we've had uh, not a very explosive game. We've had one uh, great offensive play from the Vikings, about a 50 or 60-yard gain, ended up being brought back by a penalty. But other than that, it's been some, some tough football in the trenches between the Hornets and the Vikings just running it uh, straight through the, the defensive line. And the Hornets now capitalizing on some great field position off of a, a punt turnover. Uh, looks like MGM touched the ball, and then Baker was able to re recover it at about the 35-yard line. So here we have Baker setting up their offense, but now they're being hindered by some penalties, which seems to be the, the story of the game so far. And the Baker Hornets really, and the MGM Vikings, both, I know they want to win this game. They want to, MGM wants to bring home at least one win for their whole season because they're so far at 0-9. and nine. Baker Hornets are at our 2-7, and seven, so this would be good for us. At least a pride game for the Battle West Mobile. And, and to see senior where we night on top of that. Yeah, senior <laughs> night, your parents are here. Your parents are watching you. That's right. They're watching you. You want to, see, you want to play best for them? So senior night, MGM Vikings 0-9. to nine. Baker Hornets two to seven, and we want to win this. We want to win this game. Take home the trophy. Baker currently has the trophy now, and we want to keep it that way. But we're still ready to see this game and see what both teams are going to bring to the table, and see who wants it more. That's right. All week the the Battle of Westmobile Trophy has been displayed in the front office at Baker, and there's actually some uh, plates on there for each year that each team has won. And uh, Baker's looking to keep the trophy this year, not want to give it over to the Vikings. So uh, here we go. Baker, third and about eight. Devin Robinson under center. Drops back, looking to pass. He's got a receiver in the middle. Oh, he no. He trips. He bumps into the defender. The referee is actually going to throw the flag. Wow. And that goes to Dontavious Hill. That was number 80. Yeah, so yeah. pass interference on the Vikings. Wow. Uh, the referee, I don't know if he was gonna actually going to throw the flag on that one. Uh, Dontavious Hill turned around to catch the ball and bumped into the defender and then ended up tripping. So the defender did not pull him down to the ground, but tripped him uh, up a little either bit. way, I'm sure the Hornets will, will take the penalty here. And the penalty kick for this, or are they going to be like... Uh, they're going to get some yardage off of it. Okay, and that's, that's good, too. E so anything to walk help. it forward from the original, not from the, from the previous line of scrimmage. You're moving up. And that's just going to give them a first down. Wow. So first down, Hornets. First down for the Hornets. Yeah, it's... Looks like it's going to be uh, from the 20, the 18 the, yard line. Yeah, 18 yard, 18 yards. We're at 18 and 18 and one for the Hornets. We're at a, we're at a really bad angle over here. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so so first and ten, Hornets ball from the MGM 18 yard line. I'm sorry. It looks like that's going to be the maybe the 14 yard Ooh, line here. Let's see who is so that. Scramble up the middle. Can't even see that. They're all piled on them right right there. Tried to scramble up the middle, but I cannot tell who that is. That I believe that's number five, yeah, which Fernando is Fernando Billups. Fernando Billups yeah. once again driving up the driving up the middle. Sorry. So Fernando getting the ball to about the seven yard line. So it's now second down with about five to go. A minute twenty three and ticking on the clock left in the first quarter. Hornets looking to get this ball in the end zone before we flip the field. Yeah, a minute 15 left on the clock. Hornets at two. 
That's handoff to Fernando Billups again, who plays some power football straight through the line. He's brought down it. I'm going to call that the one-yard line. Let's see where the referees spot it. Might as well just give us that one. We'll hope we can get that one. Looks like they're going to put him at the 57. And we're counting down. We're, at the, we're getting to the 50s. 55, where we're staying at. And we are at basically the one-yard one, one yard line. One-yard yeah, line. And so first. here you go. First and goal for the Hornets. From Come about on, Hornets. The, yeah, from walking about right over that line. line. We're going to end the first quarter with at least one point on the scoreboard. A handoff to number 25. That's number Kobe Bush. Yeah, Kobe Full Bush. Back. Once again, fullback right Kobe into Bush, the right end in. zone. Touchdown, Baker Hornets. And there we go. Points on the board before the end of the first quarter. Baker setting up quickly for the, the point after attempt. And you know they want that point. And Kobe Bush is an 11th grader, actually. All right, so we got one more year. Uh, so he's on the Kobe. senior field, and you're gonna be—you already have your name out there, Kobe. Actually, don't have uh, a kick from number 82 for the Hornets is good. good. So that's good. gonna give Baker a seven-point lead over the Vikings. Baker strikes first. I do not have number 82 on my roster for mm -hmm. Baker, so I apologize if if his family's listening in. I do not show a number 82. And Baker Hornets have, brung, have just bring the sting tonight. First point, first numbers on the board from Arkeen. And MGM, it's still early in the night, so MGM can still bring some points. We want to see this an explosive electric game tonight. And they're going to kick off again before the next quarter ends. And let's see, maybe we can get those. Maybe we can get another point, never seven in the next 40 seconds. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? We'll see what the Vikings can do. This the kickoff from the Hornets to the Vikings. With just under 40 seconds left in the first quarter. And we're going to kick off. This is going, who is kicking this off? This is number 14, number 84. 84. Number 84, and that is Brandon May. Brandon May, an 11th grader, is kicking off tonight. It's going to be called by number 20. At about the 11, so he's running down the right side of the field. Breaks, breaks the common. He's brought down hard by number 10. That's number 28, Nicholas Powell. Number 10 for the Hornets, Terrell Crane just leveled him. You could hear the crowd, the crowd give over. a resounding ooh once that hit came through. And you always know when you hear those oohs, something big happened. You were looking yeah. at your phone, you better look up now. I think <laughs> I see number 28. He's, uh, he's hobbling a little bit over there. Terrell Crane delivered the hurt to him right on the sideline. That was a massive hit. Great way to get the crowd in this game even more, especially after that touchdown from the Hornets. And people, we're still really starting to warm up out here, really starting to warm up. 34 seconds on the clock. We are at 32 and 1 for the MGM Vikings. And, okay, it's being brought down by number 18 for Baker, and that'll be Aerie Lawson. Aerie Lawson, 12th grader. He was honored actually tonight earlier on. He's a cornerback, and he was honored in our parent night. MGM now second up, set up for their second series here. Uh, first down, there's a first down conversion straight into uh, off the first play. So MGM already going straight up to the line. Quarterback receiving the call from the sideline. He's set up in shotgun formation with a, right, a running back to his right. And we have 10 seconds left on he the does, clock right now. He does hand it off, but that play is going nowhere. Actually, by my count, that's a loss of one, but it looks like the referee is going to give him no gain. And there you go. So the first and quarter is over. And with Baker Hornets a 7 and our MGM Vikings with a 0 ending the first quarter. All right, so... Great start so far to the game. It's been a it's been a fast game, Very which fast. is <laughs> which is good. All these running plays are keeping the clock moving. Yeah. So we'll uh, start off a little bit slow, but as the quarter progressed, we got faster and faster and faster. We started heating up, and then we culminated with Baker at seven points, and our guest of Mary G Montgomery with a zero points. And for anyone just tuning in now. That for a recap is that Baker has had a score of two to seven in these past few weeks, and MGM with a zero to nine. And in this game right now, we have Baker with their seven, MGM with their zero, 
and we're going to see if they can still warm it up. All right, well, before uh, let's, we're going to watch this play, we actually have a sideline report ready, but we're going to we're going to let this we're going to let this play run first, and we're going to then we're going to head to the sideline. So, all right, and that came. All right, here we go. All right, so let's head down to the sidelines for our sideline reporter, Caitlin Constantine. Caitlin, what's going on down there? Thanks, guys. The stadium is packed out right now, and the sidelines are crazy. The hooligans are going nuts now that we have our first touchdown in the last quarter. They're so excited, and they're, it's just crazy down here. The atmosphere is amazing. I'm actually kind of envious of the hooligans right now because they are just – it's wild, and I can't wait to see how the rest of the game is going to turn out. So back to you guys. Thank you very much, Kaylin. We're back here this uh, – Looks like third down for the Vikings with a handoff to the right side. Looks like they're brought down at the original line of scrimmage. That's not going to be enough. It's going to bring up a Viking fourth down from their own 48-yard line. Surely looking to punt here, not how the Vikings wanted to start the second quarter. Yeah, this is really not looking for good for the Vikings, but for the Baker Hornets, you know, anything will help. But we still want to give a good game for the Vikings because they are showing up tonight. They really are pushing us. They are giving us the push that we need to show, and the energy they're giving us is being reciprocated by Baker. All right, so fourth down for the Vikings. They are definitely punting. We have uh, Jacoby Robert Rogers back at about the 15-yard line. The kick is short. It rolls out of bounds at about the 18-yard line is where it's going to be spotted. So Baker going to bring their offense back out with 10 and a half minutes left in the second quarter. We're going to see if uh, Baker can put double digits up on the Vikings before we move into the half. For the Vikings, this might seem like a bit of a standstill. They haven't really gotten any points, but the game, this quarter just started. Last quarter, they actually were putting up a good defense. Baker wasn't getting really any points until the last minute or so. So they still have a, they still have a, a way to go. They still have a chance to go, and they're going to get their points on the board. I know that. And we Baker Hornets, we just got to keep keeping them there, keep them at bay, make sure we do not let them score again. But here the play has started, and we were at yeah. 1 and 20. Hand off to the right side. Well, first down from the 20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So first down from the 20. So the, the, the number back there is the down. Uh, and then so it's first down from the 20, but it was first and 10. So now uh, there was only a gain of one there. So now second and nine. Hornet ball. From about the 20, their own 20 yard line, we have Devin Robinson under center. He's going to fake the handoff, and he's looking to Jacoby Rogers, Jacoby who was wide open at the 40 yard line, but could not come down with the ball. It was slightly overthrown. Just slightly, just slightly. He was this close to getting, like almost a skim of his fingers, but it just went out of went out of his grasp. But Jacoby Rogers smoked the Viking cornerback. Looked like number 30 for the Vikings, uh, Christopher Wallace Jr. As a sophomore, uh, Vikings, uh, MGM playing some young guys out there tonight. I don't know if this is their their typical starters for the season, but they may be trying to get their young guys in there, get them some playing time on the field, get ready for next season. Yeah. That's a great decision. So Hornets now third and nine. Devin Robinson dropping back to pass. Ooh. The pass is complete to number two. It is enough for the first down. He's brought down at about the 33-yard line. And that is Rashawn Christian. Rashawn Christian, yeah. That's the second uh, – Good play from uh, Rashawn tonight. So it's a first down for the Baker Hornets, moving the chains. Now at the 34-yard line, first and 10 Hornets. And really the Hornets, they have been warming it up, and so have MGM. They've kept us at bay, we kept them at bay. They haven't scored any points. They've scored seven, but this game's still going. The game is still going, and here we have a pass, a handoff. Number left, right. Joshua Pruitt. He is broken free. Oh, There's is, no way they're catching him. He's no at the 20 yard going, line. Going, going, going. He is Touchdown, gone. Touchdown, Joshua Pruitt for the Baker Hornets. That is extending that lead to a 13 to 0. Thank you, Joshua Pruitt. What a Thank play. You. And there you're pulling in Kyra and Sydney. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's, uh, I'm sure our, our friends at Seymour Sports are going to clip that and put that all over social media. You can't, I can't wait to see that. I'm going to retweet that tonight. I saw Joshua Pruitt's dad down there in the stands. He was clapping. He was he was energetic to see his son out there doing that. And we're about to see Baker kick, try to go for our next point. 
And let's see if this is all good. And we have our kicker. I can't really see the number out there. We're at a bad angle. Should be 82. 82. Yeah, 82 that we don't have on our roster, but the kick is good. So the Hornets extending their lead by 14. And this GM yet to get on the board. And the time is 9-16 in the second quarter. And we're at 14 points at the Hornets, zero for the MGM Vikings. But the game, the game's still going. So the game is still running, and there is still time for the MGM to give us a run for our money. And they, they're going back to kickoff right here for Baker Hornets. And our person kicking off today is also going to be, I believe, number 82. Number, number 84. Number 84 tonight will be kicking off. And that is Brandon May. And he kicked off, I believe, twice already. He's done a good job both times he's done it. So I believe that he can do this one too. Looking for the kickoff. We're waiting for it. MGM Band is uh, very active right now, trying to get their, their team back motivated. This is a, a rough start for the Vikings. But very there's rough. still plenty of time left in the game. Anything can happen. All right, and Brandon May kicks it, is going off. Great it kick, going to be fielded at about the 12-yard line for the Vikings. He's running back to his right, running and backwards, he and he's brought down. Is that number 30? That's Hunter Roberts. Hunter Roberts. One of our seniors. One of our Great seniors. tackle. MGM, uh, is that number 41 for the Vikings, trying to make something happen there. Uh, William Nunn, I believe. It looked like 41 from up here. It's hard to see that distance, but trying to make something happen. Uh, end up running backwards to try to evade some Baker defenders, but Hunter Roberts just way too fast on that play. Yeah, Hunter Roberts are, 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 is one of our inside linebackers tonight, actually, and was actually also recognized at our parents' night. That's right. First and ten for the Vikings. Jacoby Daniel back in the shotgun. Fakes the handoff, sweeps to his right. Ooh, and he is at, number 11 is out, and he is taken out by number 29, I believe, who is... Christian Harrell. Yep. That was Devin Thigpen with the reception. So good uh, positive yardage play there for the Vikings. Mm -hmm. They're really getting up there. Really trying to push back at Baker. We've been pushing them, pushing them the last few like past plays in a row. They're trying to push back. Gives a little rivalry. Trying to see how we're if we're gonna like, literally let them get this, let them push us. But Baker, we gotta keep them at bay. We gotta push them all the way back. We gotta make sure they get no points. And let's see, they, the refs seem to be deciding something on the field right now. And they are, I think they're pushing back, I believe. But we, right now, are see, It must have been a flag on the play. We'll see what the... They're actually talking to MGM's coach right now. And they're at the 30 and 1. 30 yard line on the first down, actually. Oh, they're moving... Yeah, they're, they're, actually, they're at the 15. Okay, yeah, they're it's moving gonna be first and uh, first and 10 from the 15. Actually, going to oh. walk it forward now. All right, let's see. I didn't know we were doing the um, shot shot right. fly tonight. Let's see what we're doing here. So that should give them the first down. All right, so it's going to be first down for the Vikings. All right. <laughs> finally know where they're going. A little going. bit of confusion here. So now it's uh, back first and, and 10 for MGM from the 25 yard line. And it's art. Okay, let's see where they're going to. This is the MGM's ball, I believe. MGM is going to go run this up, and let's see where they're going to go with this. And they pass it off, and they're... Pass it over is, the middle. Boom. It is deflected off oh. the hands of the receiver, intercepted by Baker. That is number 29. He is out to the right side. He is drug out of bounds at the at the one or the two-yard line, number 29 number for 20. Baker. Christian uh, that's Harrell. Christian Harrell. Christian Harrell, we just heard about him. He's doing big things out there. Hopefully, we can just walk it over that line and get that, those points. I hear the crowd out there screaming, Christian. Great interception there by our safety. So Baker now first and goal from the MGM two-yard line. MGM's offense is just falling apart. It must have been those first few points we got. They like got them a little scared. But who knows? They might push back on us. We got to make sure we keep them where we want them. We get our 7, our 14, our 21, and keep this going, y'all, with our touchdowns and also our, our single-point field goal. Looking for a handoff here to... Uh, to Josh Pruitt with uh, Kobe Bush leading the way. Let's see. Devin Robinson keeps it. He's going. He's still up on his feet. He's into the end zone. Devin Robinson, he did that. Devin Robinson, touchdown. Great extra effort by Devin Robinson. Kept he it. got caught up in the crowd, danced his way out to the right side, got through the defensive line straight into the end zone. 
to extend the Hornet lead to 20 to zero. And while Baker is Baker's shooting ahead now, we are at eight minutes, 44 seconds in the second quarter. Baker is at, I believe, 20 points. Yeah. And we're going for another, going for the kick. And the refs say, they say it's good. So we have 21 yeah. points for Baker. 21 to zero. 21 to zero at the second, second quarter mark. But you see the band of MGM is still going strong. They're still out there. <laughs> They're right. still cheering. They're going to get their morale up. They're saying that they can't go home tonight without some points on the board. The Hornets are riled up after losing the jalapeno contest. You know they are. <laughs> I know I was. I think they won 38 to 27. I, I believe, believe was the count. Yeah. I believe so. I really thought we were going to take that home, that Whataburger, the jalapeno eating contest. I really thought we were going to get that one, but MGM got that. So we're going to let them have that. We're going to have our participation, That's right. most people. But let's see tonight who's going to really take home and be the absolute winner tonight. Right. So far, it's looking like Baker, but it could also be MGM, and they're kicked off. Yeah, low kick, but it is fielded at the 15-yard line. MGM going to get a great uh, return on this. He's brought down at about the 40-yard line, so that's a good way to start off this offensive drive for the Vikings with a great return off the kickoff. And they need to be really aggressive about their, their drives because Baker's defense is not playing with them. They are stopping them in their tracks. That's been two turnovers tonight for the Vikings that have turned into points for the Hornets. So uh, without those turnovers, we could still be looking at a 7-0 ball game, but there's some... Mistakes to the Vikings. It's now 21 to zero already. We're not even through the first half yet. We still have a whole lot of game left to go, and they need to. If they Vikings want to do this, they have to really right. push through and get through it. Oh, and, I just handoff to number 19, and he's brought down hard. Number 75, I believe. That is Jackson Brooks. Jackson Brooks really brought him down. I saw him go hard on that man. Really slung him down. Stopped him in his yeah, tracks. He's still, uh, looks like he's he's hurt. Yeah, he's he is hurt. Let's see what number, is, who is that? It's a on hard the... tackle. So we'll see. Uh, Hornets are going to come to the sideline and uh, take a knee, talk with the coaches. Let's see, who. what number is that for the Vikings? I want to see who that is to make sure they're all right out there. All right, so while we're, while they're taking a timeout on the field to, uh, have, well, actually, they're, they're not. They're. He's up on his feet. That's number 49, uh, Jeremiah Martin, a 10th grade running back he's for the only. Vikings. He's, he's walking out off the field under his own power, so it's good to see that. So we're going to actually get right back into some football action. He's actually someone we've talked about many times tonight, two or three Absolutely. times. Absolutely. Actually. So we know he's very active, and we hope this doesn't slow him down tonight. Let's see. And they're lining back up at the... 50, the 45-yard line. Oh, second, yeah, about second and five to go for the Vikings, so making some progress here. And less than eight minutes left in this quarter. He does hand it off again off to the left side now. The running back trips over his own feet. The turf reached up and grabbed him. <laughs> that was number 27. Uh, that's Joshua Martin, the 11th grade running back for the Vikings. So MGM now looking at a third and two from the 48-yard line. Let's see what they're going to do with this. We're at third down and 40, 48, actually. Seven, well, seven minutes to go? The, yeah, third and two. Third, oh, third yeah, and third two. two from the 48-yard line. I think they're hesitating. Oh, there they go. They are yeah. going. Uh, uh, quarterback going. keeper. And he's, so he fakes the handoff, and he's brought down at about the 51-yard line. Uh, 51. Goodness gracious, <laughs> I did it again. You know, I was telling y'all that I get in the habit of looking at the yardage, and as soon as they cross the 50 in a hurry, mm -hmm. I don't automatically switch over to 49. I did it again. So it's the 49-yard line into Baker territory. This is MGM's first time into the Baker side of the field. And this, this is actually this is the most first downs that they've converted as well all game. So MGM looks like they're getting their offense together now uh, on the Baker 49 first and 10. But they're really starting to warm up out there. Hand off to number three. Looks like they're bringing it. They're swapping out a lot of their their running back committee here. That's a great gain by number three, Raymond Stallworth. That is a freshman running back for the Vikings. A freshman. Wow. 
it honestly feels like that every time the MGM Vikings get the ball and they try to run it past Big, we just grab them and pull them straight down, straight to the turf every time. Second so I think they're going to need to keep switching out to get the yards they want and the points that they need. Second and four for the Vikings. The uh, snap is uh, fielded by the quarterback, handed off to the running back, and he is brought down at about the 40-yard line, really close to a first down. We'll see what the referees spot him. They are going to make it third down from the 40-yard line, so third and one for the Vikings. Definitely moving the ball this quarter. And they are getting all ready to snap the ball right here. And let's go in number three. They yeah. hand off again to number three. He and he goes to the right side. He definitely gets the first down. So that's number Raymond Stallworth, that mm -hmm. freshman again. I saw him slide, though, when he did that, when he was doing his run pass. Mm -hmm. He kind of leaned forward and almost slid directly into the dirt, yeah. right, past, right past the marker. So you got that, that point by the skin of his teeth, and we're going to move back to the first down at the 38 at the 39 yard line MGM utilizing these small running backs another handoff to number 3 that's again the freshman Raymond Stallworth mm. brought down uh, we'll see what the referees get it looks like no gain it's looking like it's going to be second and 10 actually going to give him a loss wow so it's going to be second and 11 from the Baker 39 yard line MGM finally getting into Baker territory. Let's see if they can capitalize on this, get some points on the board. They've got into our territory, but they really haven't done much with it. That's They've right. only gotten about 10, 10 in, 11 in so far, and they haven't really moved more since then. This is the first time in the whole game. Just so under five minutes to go, second and 11. Ooh. Oh, almost picked off by number one, Ozzy. Uh, that's Ozzy Quinney. Our senior linebacker featured earlier tonight. We mentioned we mentioned Ozzy and Hunter Roberts uh, earlier about looking to for some plays to be made by those guys tonight, and there was another one there. Almost an interception for Ozzy Quinney. Tipped the ball in the air. So that quick pass over the middle from Jacoby Daniel. Uh, he needs to be careful. He had a pick earlier from that with from Christian Harrell. And here we are, the lining back up on the. 39 yard line. Third and long, and Baker's showing blitz. Ozzy Quinney off the corner. Ooh. Couldn't quite get his hand on, but he is finally brought down. That's number 30 for the Hornets. That's Frank Hurst in on the sack. Frank really brought him down right there. Like I just saw him. He slid in, grabbed him, laid down, pulled him down immediately. That's right. Quick. Just let that dead weight from your body bring yeah. him down. So the All Vikings now with a fourth down. So a big decision here. Do you. Do you punt it or do you go for it? You're already in Baker territory. Looks like they're swapping out some personnel here. MGM is going to punt it. Uh, they're number the 13, Ethan Duke. And already a flag on the play. Let's see what the call is here. That's actually going to be on MGM. So they're going to move him back. Yeah. Still fourth down. Going to move him back farther. Make the we have a little more uh, more room for Baker to work with on this punt. That was uh, odds are that punt was gonna go out the back of the end zone. So yeah. now MGM can try to pin Baker deep in their own side of the field. We have uh, Jacoby Rogers. He's actually lined up right now at about the 14 yard line, ready to receive this kick. It's short. It does take one hop. Jacoby fields it on the hop and he dodges a defender. Oh, dodges dodging, three dodging, defenders. Dodging. dodging. And he is down at about the 34th yard line. Yeah. Great we return have, from number seven, Jacoby Rogers. We're at three minutes and three minutes, 49 seconds left in this quarter. 21 points for the Hornets and zero for the MGM Vikings. First and 10, the Hornets. We're bringing uh, Devin Robinson and the Hornets offense right back out with 349 left in the second quarter. We may have an extended halftime break today because it is senior night, so the, the band members will be featured. All the senior band members, senior ROTC members as well uh, will be featured. So uh, the typical 20-minute break for halftime may actually be extended tonight. So uh, Hornet with a handoff to number oh, seven, Jacoby Rogers. He is sweeping Go. out to the right side. He is past the 50-yard line. Oh, no. 30, like a, number 38 on the – Let's get a flag on that horse collar. Yeah. 
38 on 38 from the Viking. That is Trey um Umbridge. I he brought it down at about the 43. That was a a vicious tackle. Vicious. vicious. It was. I don't even believe that. That was a a, a sling. He really positive yardage. So the first play from scrimmage off of that. On this possession, Baker's already across the 50, straight into Viking territory. Right now on the 43-yard line, it's first and 10 with 3.38 left in the second quarter. Baker is not hesitating and not playing with the Viking today. Pass out to the left Ooh. side. Struggling. He is brought back. Backwards. He's backed up about seven yards by the Vikings, but they're going to spot him there on the 40. Is that number 80? It's Dontavious Hill. And we are waiting for the next next play to start up. And here we have the Baker Hornets. I believe they're switching players out. Yeah, Fernando the, Billups is coming back in the game for uh, Jacoby Rogers. So uh, Fernando uh, doing a great job this season, uh, filling in for uh, losing uh, Trey McMillan to graduation. So Fernando with the ball now. He's sweeped out to the right side. He's past the 25, the 20. He's brought down out of bounds at the 10-yard line. Great run for Fernando Bills. Just mentioning how great of a job he's done this season. Uh, amazing Filling job. the gap left by Trey McMillan and uh, Fernando Billups showing why he's earned that starting running back position. So they're going to bring uh, Billups back to the sidelines, get him some, uh, get that man some Gatorade. He needs it. Now they're running the whole game. We have Colby Bush in, number 25. He is lined up behind Devin Robinson for some more power running here. We just want to get this. From the Hornets. Next touchdown in this field goal so we can get our points. Colby mm -hmm. Bush in the backfield. Devin Robinson under center. He does hand off to Colby Bush who bounces off a defender. He is swarmed by the Vikings. I believe they're back at where they started. Yeah, so no gain. They're going to make it second and ten, or second and goal, rather, from the ten-yard line. Some more uh, personnel changes here Just for the Hornets. We got Rashawn Christian coming in. Swapping in and out like a revolving made some, door. Uh, made some great catches this game. Actually got Cameron Young in there as well, lined up to the right. So we actually have... Uh, Two players in the backfield. We have uh, Kobe Bush lined up to the left to add some protection. Josh Pruitt in the backfield. Uh, Devin yeah. keeps the ball. Swings to his left. He's looking to the back of the end zone. Oh, and it's too deep for number 22. And incomplete. Is that number 22? Goodness gracious. Let's see. I got a Jonathan Chapman. That might be uh, 11th grade. He's lined up. He's marked down as a running back, so they may have been... Possibly playing him at, at tight end. Chapman coming out. Kobe Bush coming uh, coming back in. And Jonathan, I've known him for a long time. One of my good friends. Really cool dude. Um, really funny. Everyone likes him. Can't think of a single thing about him. Just like negative. But they're starting to play. They're moving us. Back, so we're gonna call call something. It, yeah. Timeout for the Hornets. So while we're on a timeout, we're actually going to toss it back to um, our sponsor, Seymour Sports, who helped us out with the stream. We'll hear a little message from them. We at Seymour are very proud to be working with the students in our partnering schools. In fact, the broadcast that you are currently watching is all student-led. This is our first full season working with these student broadcasting teams, and we are very excited about the progress they are making. It is students that are running the sound, shooting the video, directing and producing the broadcast, and some are even doing the play-by-play -play and color commentary. It'll be first and 10 inside Foley territory. Rajay's in the shotgun, and he's gonna fake the handoff to set again, and Rajay's gonna go for about seven or eight more yards, and the Canes are driving on him, Josh. Our entire program at Seymour is centered around the development of students for the workforce, and we are committed to training our students to deliver a quality product. Hello, and welcome back to Davidson Media, a warrior-built network. 
I'm your host here, Jackson Kraft. So thank you for watching this student broadcast powered by Seymour. And be sure to continue your support of this fine school in all of its academic and athletic affairs. All right, coming back now, Baker just ran their third down play. Devin Robinson scrambled uh, way back behind the line of scrimmage. Couldn't find a receiver open and basically just threw the ball just to get it out of his hands to prevent a loss of yardage. So now we have Baker now, fourth and goal. Definitely going for the field goal here. Let me see, are they going to get it? Number 82. And it's, and good. it's good. Yeah, so add three more points on to the Hornets score. I do not have number 82 on the roster. Sorry about that. That's from uh, C to C schools, but maybe whoever he is, he's doing that. Whatever maybe a is. late addition to the team, possibly. All right, so Hornets now with a 24 to zero lead over the Vikings. If you go back and you look at the Vikings games this season, this is something they've struggled with as far as putting points on the board. Um, you know, the losses that they've had have been uh, pretty substantial as far as point leads for the for the enemy team, uh, and it's it's been a rough season uh, for the Vikings. This goes towards the history that Baker and MGM have had with their series being 23 wins for MGM and actually 16 losses for Baker. So this, if this game goes the way I think it's going to go, then it'll be 24, it'll be 23 and 17 for them. Yeah, MGM actually leading this series. You're right. Uh, so, you know, Hornets went through a a bad spout. I, I remember I was a student at Baker and graduated in 2003, and I can remember every year, um, every season, we we would always count on a win against Satsuma. Like that seemed <laughs> to be the team we would always beat. But but yeah, we would finish the season one and nine. Uh, so a little rough. So uh, we're gonna watch this play here. Uh, we've actually got a special guest on the sideline that we're going to cut to in just a second, right after this play from MGM. First and 10 from, it looks like their own 27-yard line. Jacoby Daniel dropping back, passing out to his right, hauled in by number 81. Ooh. He fumbled it. He's staying up on his feet. He's, he's finally down. brought down at the 35-yard line. Let's head to the sidelines where uh, Caitlin Constantine actually has one of our trail maids for an interview. Thanks, guys. I'm here with the Azalea Trailmaid Queen, our very own Taylor from Baker. So, Taylor, saying as this is your last game as a high schooler for to come visit the Baker Hornets, how does that make you feel? Well, it's kind of a bittersweet moment. Um, it's but definitely a great experience having all my family and friends out here today. Uh, how do you think that the Hornets are doing so far, and how do you think that they'll do throughout the rest of the game? We're doing pretty good. I'm really proud of us. We got three touchdowns. Looks like we just got a field goal, so I'm really proud. Go Hornets. <laughs> and final question, what will you miss most about uh, Baker after you graduate? The thing I'll miss most about Baker is Baker is a school that has so many various big people. I see somebody new in the hallway every day, and I, that's definitely something I'm going to miss about Baker. We have so many great staff and administrators, and that's definitely going to be the one thing that I miss about Baker the most. Okay, thank you so much, and we'll be right back to you. All right, we're back. Thank you, Kaylin, and I believe that was Taylor Boykin there on the on the sideline there on that interview, so uh, great job. So MGM actually did convert to a first down, so it's now second and 10 from their own 42-yard line. MGM looking to get back into Baker territory after their last possession uh, did not end up the way they wanted to. They actually got into Baker territory, and then penalties pushed them back out and ended up having to punt. So MGM actually making some progress on their offense now, but there's not quite enough to get in the end zone. So number one's dodging some tackles. He goes, runs to his right, right. scrambles, gets past the line of scrimmage, so about a three-yard gain there for Jacoby Daniel. And we're at the 34 seconds with Baker at 24 and MGM at zero. And we're going into the third quarter soon, actually. And MGM still hasn't put any points on the board yet. Looks like it's going to be, unless the MGM Vikings can scramble and get their, get their defense and their offense all together, I guess Baker's going to take home this win. Okay, third down here. This is not the third down you want if you're the Vikings. Look for a pass play here from Jacoby Daniel. He's got three rod receivers to his left, one to his right. 
Ooh. It's got a oh, Negative, 11 yeah. was running through the middle of the field, but number one was brought down by a tag team by number 30 and number 91 for the Hornets. That's going to be Frank Hurst and Colin McCants. Tag team. Jacoby Daniel didn't have a chance. His receivers were doing their best to get open. Great coverage by the Baker secondary. secondary. Number 11 for the Vikings, Devin Thigpen, was crossing the middle. He looked like the best prospect for a pass, but... Not enough time for Jacoby Daniel uh, given to him by his offensive line. Just just not enough protection for those long passes. And we are at the we got 27 seconds left, 24 for Baker, 0 for the MGM Vikings. And we're just looking to see who's going to win this. Who's really going to take home the Battle of Westmobile's trophy? Who's going to take home the ultimate win tonight? And I'm leading more towards Baker, but I think the MGM can put some score on the board before the game's over. They can do this. So at least put some score on the board rather than nothing at all. Anything's better than nothing at all, and they can do this. MGM taking some time on this decision here. It is fourth down and oh, goodness. <laughs> fourth and 17, maybe? Uh, they've got a long way to go, so this is their opportunity we we'll try to get some points on the board before the half, so they are not going to punt. MGM is going for it on fourth down. This could give Baker some great field position, possibly score again before the end of the half. Jacoby Daniel has no protection whatsoever. Mm. That same duo. No, I'm sorry, it's not. It's Con McCants and number 94. So mix it up a little bit. Uh, DeAndre Hayes getting in there. Get some action on that quarterback, bringing him down. So Colin McCants leading that charge again. He has been on, involved in the last two sacks onto the Vikings. So that's going to be Baker Ball from the MGM 29-yard line. The Baker, Baker is just not letting up on MGM tonight. They are really giving them a run for their money, making sure that this game they win for sure. They want to make sure they can get some more points on the board, maybe make it 3-9 and not, make it three and nine rather than the um, – the score they have a two and nine, two and seven right now. That's right. So Baker want to finish the season strong. It's a moral victory for the seniors tonight, for sure. Um, you but don't want to. You definitely don't want a loss on senior night. Yeah, kind of a little. You're gonna remember that. Remember that night for a while. You don't want to remember it with a um, loss on your part. Jim Jim's coach is on the field. Rest are saying here something. Go. All right, here we go. So signaling, ready to go. Play clock is counting down. Devin Robinson in shotgun with a little bit of protection. He's looking to pass it. He's passing out to his right to Jacoby Rogers, who goes up. Does he? Does he get that? Does it? If does not, not, it's it not. It is incomplete. incomplete. Going right into traffic. Number seven, Jacoby Rogers, and number twenty-three. Both went for. Uh, it. That's Gregory Carroll. Uh, we're both there. It's like a little bit of a collision. In the end zone. I bet they're both feeling like, why is the other person there? But, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, better safe than sorry. Have some two people there rather than no one there at all. Maybe a little bit of a miscommunication on the their routes were converging. So we have Jacoby Rogers lined up wide to the right. Keep an eye on him. At the same time, you have Cameron Young. They have one wide receiver up top as well. Devin Robinson dropping back, looking to pass again. He's looking to his right again. Jacoby Rogers coming back for the ball. And he has it. He has completed his pass. He does catch it at the two-yard line. So first down for Baker. First and goal with 6.6 .6 seconds left on the clock in the half. Baker really has had a reputation tonight of continually getting at either the first or the second yard line and then just walking it over. Basically just walking it over at the end. And then going for our two points. So hopefully we can keep this tradition look for, going. Look for Devin to keep it on this one. Yeah. He spikes it. Ooh. Spikes stops the clock at 4.6 seconds left. Come on, Baker, you can do this. Just run it through. Oh, they're, tr they're switching out, switching out, switching out. Let's see, they're bringing in some big bodies here. See number 68 coming in. That's John Webster. 68, 70. Adam Stackers in there as well. 74. Jeremiah Buenrostro. Got some big bodies. We're actually going to line up for the field goal here. Wow. That does surprise me. If I was Baker, I think I'd go for that too. With the right, four seconds the, we have, that not count? The unnamed kicker. They're saying no good. 
So we're going to finish the first half. Baker leading 24 to 0. It has been an absolute stomp so far. MGM has struggled to get their offense going. The Baker Hornets capitalizing on two mistakes on the Vikings, two turnovers that have costed them uh, dearly in this game. So Baker's running away with it right now. Uh, that field goal was no good. It's still 24 to 0. So our scoreboard's a little off. Should be 24 to 0 for the Hornets. So we're actually going to take a break. We're going to go to halftime. We're going to we're going to get our camera centered up on uh, ha on a wide shot of the field as we have the senior night proceedings. As we honor the senior band members, senior ROTC members, and as soon as all this is over, we'll be right back with you uh, for the second half. 